Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Sharon needs her ear clean, right? Right. <laughs> okay, so this one here on the right, more so than the left, but they both do show that there's wax in them, and, and quite a bit, just more on the right. Uh, is it feeling clogged? Yes, it feels clogged. Okay. Plus I've got that ringing. That... Ringing from it? Right. How long has it been going on? Um, on and off, the ringing's been going on for a few years, getting worse. I mean, I mean the plugged feeling. Oh, the plugged feeling. I think for a few weeks. Okay. Because I tried, right before I went to San Diego, I was gone for about eight days. And before I left, I tried two days of the hydrogen peroxide. And okay. it just didn't relieve it. It made it worse, I think. Okay. Well, we will certainly go in. Uh, possibly the hydrogen peroxide is making our job here today easier, even though it didn't do any good for you at home. Okay. But, uh, I'd still do recommend using like half water, hot water, as hot as you can stand, in hydrogen peroxide uh, and letting it sit in there. Um, usually it'll help, but in just mm -hmm. this case it wasn't, wasn't no. enough. Uh, I was using straight hydrogen peroxide. Oh, okay. the hot water part. Yes, warmth helps. Uh, okay. and, and that's what we're going to do here today. I hope so. Yeah, all right. So get ready for some warm water. Sorry, it's dripping on your arm there. Try to hold it out. Okay, we do see the wax is starting to come out already. And we can see wax moving around. You okay there, Ian? Yep. Oh. So we've got this, the, you don't want to see it, do you? That's okay. <laughs> okay to see it or not to see it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's okay. Oh yeah, that was uh, a big contact yeah, see, later. We're, we're no, doing, right, really clogged. We're doing something here. I already feel unclogged. So with that out of the way, then I'll take another peek in there because this is still running. Wax is still in there. In the right ear, following the first washing and curettage. And we'll start. And once we get it going, we'll go a little faster. Oh, it's coming out. That was probably it, so I'm gonna take a look. If I get into the ear, and there's the eardrum. Am I hurting you? No. All right, no wax. That's very good. Moving on to the left ear. I was in Costa Rica, I lived there for eight years, and I went to see a near doctor for the same thing. And when she saw the eardrum, she sang to it. You did not sing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it too late? No. <laughs> she worked primarily, I think, with children. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. it, was, it was delightful. I she never was had so anybody pleased, sing huh? to my eardrum before. <laughs> I can do that, what do they call it, ASMR, where I whisper into your ear. <laughs> Are you familiar with that? No. Uh, oh, that's a thing on YouTube also where uh, people I, will, I generally don't look at ear things on YouTube. They'll, they'll put on, it doesn't show anything here. It's uh, uh, people put on headphones and listen to recordings of people whispering oh, very okay. close oh, to the microphone. Very cool. 
and uh, you know, it kind of makes you have that shudder. Yeah, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Apparently, that's a desirable sensation <laughs> for some. Can I all? Here we go. You all set? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get the Nordstroms in, I'll get the Dutch Brothers in. <laughs> We'll commercialize it. Here we go. Turn it on. Makes the, the pressure gets your drum makes you a little nervous, but I don't think there's been cases of people um, blowing water through the eardrum. <laughs> there have. There have it. But not with this device. Not with this device. Okay. That's yeah. Good. This one. Well, here I'll just briefly show. It, it squirts, let's see, where are the holes? I don't know where it's gonna, I'll show you which way it goes. Can you see? Oh yeah, so it's not a direct. It's, it's not direct, it, yeah, it hits the right. sides of it. And that's why it's considered safer than just taking a syringe and just squirting right, straight right, in. Right. Many devices squirt straight, straight in. So we're gonna call this after seven. That's a lot. Boy, the floor is all sticky. This canal is shaped differently than the other one. Yeah, the, uh, the doctor earlier had mentioned that. Given what we've done here, um, I think I'm going to recommend that we don't continue okay. doing the washing, but rather that we um, have you used some over-the-counter earwax softening? We found out that we lost the audio on this closing that we did with Sharon. So I, I have to repeat the, the closing here. Thanks so much for joining us. We enjoyed doing this procedure. This was unique in that we didn't completely get that cleaned out on her left ear. And you can see I, I really wanted to get that out, but sometimes the better thing to do is just let something uh, not as invasive like squirting water in a person's ear. Take its time, like the over-the-counter wax softener. Let it do its job. It's better off for the patient. Lower risk of doing something from a procedure and everything comes out better in the end. It just takes a little longer. It's kind of frustrating when you want to see that come out, but the patient's best interest is to do what's less likely to cause them harm. And that's what we did in this case. So she went home, did the ear wax uh, softener at home. We thank our patrons, Boo Boo Kitty and Lindsay Antoine, who helped to make this possible for everybody to enjoy. And everybody can see the behind the scenes and some of the procedures that don't make it to the regular channel by becoming a part of Patreon. Until next time, this is Dr. Mark Vaughn telling all of you to stay in good health.